what's good? It's your boy Shamar Moore. You may know me as Hondo from SWAT, baby. Hondo, tell me you got something. Finish that sentence. Stay there. This is where when nobody's looking, we work hard. We get it done. What I do, I, I'm, I'm looking to be a soccer player meets a boxer. That's what looks best on TV. That's what makes me feel good in life. So that's a little bit of cardiovascular, weight training, cross training. So today, you're going to see a little bit of all of that. So let's get started. Alright, so exercise one, bench press. About to get it started, but I, I'd be amiss if I didn't introduce the man that makes it happen for me. This is my partner in crime, this is my trainer extraordinaire. He's also my dear, dear friend, Mr. John Aranita, the owner of In Training, right there. The man, the myth, the legend. Let's do this. Alright, to start this workout, we're gonna do a little bench press. Gonna pop it up. Then we're gonna get down on the ground and we're gonna do what's called explosion push-ups. And that's basically a push-up where you push as hard as you can and see how high off the ground you can get. Let your hands leave the ground, come back, and go right back into it. You try to get 10 to 15, and if you're feeling like you're a boss, get to 20. So we do bench press, explosion push-ups, and then we go to cable crosses. So it's all for the chest. Cable cross, you take the cable and you'll see. You push it right in front of you, you squeeze your pecs together, and it just gives you that nice round torso. The beginning part of the workout is standard, but this room, this is where I get a little bit of an attitude problem with my trainer, but you gotta do it. All right, this right here is what we call the standard military barbell press. My trainer loves this because I hate this. Speaking of that, let's go. It's no joke. It's just taking a whole bunch of weight and it's your shoulders and back. You gotta just say one, two, three. <laughs> no shame in the game, man. Push it up, push it up. And it's sometimes it's 10 times, sometimes it's 15 times, but every time it's too much. And John knows I hate it, so he just doesn't let me stop. So this right here is the rope tricep extension. And you basically grab up with these ropes, you gotta throw your body down underneath the rope and you gotta push yourself up. My right side is I think I can, I think I can. My left side, went to sleep. But this is how you get it done. Those flat out suck. I love my trainer. But I hate my trainer. When he makes me do those, do those. All right, whether you're hanging at the pool or you're wearing those tight little t-shirts that I wear on SWAT, you gotta have the biceps and you gotta have the triceps together. All right, so what you're about to see is alternate curls, one at a time, right, left, right. So you focus on each bicep by itself and you go until you fail. And that's how you get that nice little ball bicep going. Then, this one, I don't tell my trainer this, but I'm pretty good at it. So whenever he says you wanna do dips, I'm like, nah, really? We gotta do dips. But in my head, I'm like, yeah, baby, I got this. You just throw your body down and push yourself up. For whatever reason, I can do those, but don't tell my trainer. All right, so that right there is the weight lifting portion of my workout, okay? But we ain't done. Oh, we got a long way to go. So we're gonna go head outside. You're gonna proceed to watch me get my ass kicked in the circuit training part of it. You're gonna have a good time. I'm not. Come check this out. When I'm lifting weights, when I'm lifting heavy weights, that's just you go and put on size. You, you, you team up with your diet, you team up with how you lift weights. And so weights will give you the size that you want. It'll give you the look that you want. But then you also gotta take care of your core. You gotta take care of your flexibility. And that's where CrossFit comes in. Yo, yo, yo. So, after you beat yourself up, you gotta beat yourself up some more, but this is the end of the workout. This is how I finish it. Whether I'm doing weights, whether I'm doing CrossFit, flipping tires, whatever it is, I come out of here, keep my heart rate up, burn out my shoulders, hit a little speed bag, and jump a little rope, and then take it to the house. So, here we go. You lift some weights, you do some CrossFit, you burn your muscles, but don't get it twisted. Whatever you do in the gym, I don't care how far you run, how heavy you lift, Getting lean and mean starts in the kitchen with your diet. It's your diet. If your diet ain't right, you can drive yourself crazy in the gym. You might get a little stronger, but you're not gonna get prettier. You're not gonna get sexy if your diet is twisted. I'm telling you. <sighs> All right. Well, as you can see, I'm out of gas. I'm out of gas for the right reason. I don't take nothing for granted. You guys, for whatever reason, were paying attention to me and gave me a shot. I appreciate it. It means I'm doing something right. And, uh, because of this, I'm just gonna keep on fighting to be bigger and better. So thank you so much for this opportunity. Peace.